look at this. All right, look, look at the layers. Okay, that is a lot of products. So needless to say, I know what I'm talking about, right? So today we are going over the 10 best products for hair growth. These are my 10 favorite products. I basically looked at each category of product from shampoos, conditioners, curl creams, gels, you name it. And I've gone through my experience and said, you know what? These are my favorites. These are the ones that I would recommend to anybody who's looking for something new, wants to try something else in their routine. So let's hop straight into this okay so we're gonna go with the first product which is don't despair repair deep conditioning mask from brio Gio. this is my all-time favorite deep conditioner right this is my favorite conditioner on the whole i don't think anything has topped this and i'm being so serious i'm not even glazing brio Gio right now right let me tell you why this is my favorite number one ton of moisture your hair will feel super moisturized after using this but number two which is arguably most important at least when it comes to me and my deep conditioners is slip my primary use for using a conditioner is to comb through my hair and i don't want to feel like i'm fighting every single tangle when i'm going through it so this deep conditioner has been the most reliable look at this hold on if y'all don't believe me bro this is empty if you could even see it this is cleaned out cleaned out but i kept the bottle so i could show you guys and make sure that i don't forget where this where i got my best deep conditioner from so if you're looking for a deep conditioner if you're looking for something that's going to moisturize your hair and have the most slip in the world get this deep conditioner trust me best best thing i've tried if you don't if you don't try anything else on this list try this all right moving on to the next product we're gonna go with my favorite gel when it comes to getting braids you guys know that i love to do the pop smoke braid style you know i love to do two strand twists you know i love to do cornrows or just any braid style protective styles like that this is my favorite gel when it comes to doing those styles so if you realize that your your scalp is always flaking whenever you're getting braids by your braider like it's it's itchy and stuff like that you should try this out it's from it's two twisted it's the two twisted lock braid and twist gel from 4c only let me tell you bro like when it's cold it's like solidified but since we're in the summer now you could kind of see you can kind of see the consistency of it bro it's gonna give your parts this real shiny clean look and it's gonna look good for a while so this is my favorite twist lock braid gel whenever it comes to doing any protective style on to the next product we're gonna go with the protein treatment now i have high porosity hair if you have low porosity hair you're probably not going to be doing protein treatments as frequently for me i have not been i've not been doing so good with my protein treatments however this is one this is all reliable right it is from shea moisture it's the manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair protein powder treatment now like i said i don't do protein treatments too too often right it has a nice smell it does what it needs to do that's that's really it it does what it needs to do and i haven't tried too many of them but this is all reliable whenever i feel like my hair needs a protein treatment this is the one that i go to on to the next product we're going with a curl cream so my favorite curl cream to date at this moment in time is the moisturizing curling cream from the curl essence collection from Kara care now one thing about this I don't use curl creams too often. Even when it comes to doing the LCO method, I, I be a little lazy sometimes. As long as I have a good leave-in conditioner and a good um, oil, I'm good to go. However, if you want the maximum moisture when it comes to using this thing, I would advise using the leave-in conditioner, this curl cream, and the moisturizing oil cocktail all from the same line. It's all from the Curl Essence line from Caracare. If you use those three products together, your hair will feel so soft, so moisturized for so long, bro. I'm not even glazing. I'm not, e bro, I'm just trying to put you on. That, I think that was the best curly hair routine I ever did. Well, okay, I won't say this is the best curly hair routine because I wasn't too much of a fan of the gel. The gel was a little bit of a lighter hold, but in terms of moisture, if your hair is dry, use the leave-in conditioner from this line, the leave-in conditioner, then use this curl cream, then use the moisturizing oil cocktail, and then you could use any gel that, that pairs well with it, but I know that those, those products work well together and won't flick. 
that is maximum moisture when it comes to doing your curly hair routines or doing the LCO method. You guys always ask me what's the best shampoo for hair growth and although I will stand on the decision that no shampoo is great for hair growth, like it's meant to clean your hair, it's kind of a paradoxical question, but my favorite shampoo to date is the Too Clean Shampoo from 4C Only. This is the second pick from 4C Only on this list because they make products that are dedicated towards people with 4C hair and even though I don't have 4C, I have 4A, 4B, I find that it's still beneficial for my hair. So go and check them out. This isn't sponsored by the way, I just really like the brand. And yeah, this shampoo, the reason I like the shampoo is that it doesn't dry out my hair like that, right? My issue with a lot of shampoos is that it dries out my hair and when it dries out my hair, even if I go in with a deep conditioner afterwards, it's kind of hard for me to detangle my hair after that. So even sometimes I won't, I will purposefully not use a shampoo because I feel like it's gonna dry out my hair. So I'll just go straight to the deep conditioner and if I feel like I have to clean it, then I'll shampoo afterwards. But what I found with the Too Clean shampoo is that it softens up your hair, right? So as long as you leave, as long as you use like an appropriate amount, there's a good amount of lather when it comes to it. You could almost detangle. I use, okay, I'm not gonna say that you should, but I used to almost, pre-detangle using this shampoo alone, right? So it's really good, gets a real good lather, it smells great. I, I generally like the, the products from 4C only. I also like the container that it comes in. So this is my favorite when it comes to shampoo and I don't like shampoos like that. So I'm very picky when it comes to shampoos, but this one is my favorite when it comes to comparing them to all the rest that I've used before. The next product is the Crazy Sexy Curl Mousse from the dough. Now I know you heard the name. Bro, bro, come here, 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 come here. It's time for us to be serious. Let's be serious. Okay? I know how the name sounds. I know how it sounds. But if you want a product that's gonna give you good curls, but also looks amazing when you put it on your braids, this is the one to go to. I am telling you, if you're doing, if you're doing, you could do a curly hair routine with this mousse alone. You don't always have to use the gel. Your curls will come out a little bit lighter, but I like to use it. Let me tell you my main purpose for this, for this mousse, right? It's for refreshing your twists or braid style whenever, like, you know, I tell you guys to keep your braids in for at least three to six weeks, right? If you want that maximum hair growth, this is the perfect way to refresh your twists, refresh your braids, refresh your your curly hair routine if you want to, right? This is like an all-around heavy hitter. I love this one. And how I like to use it is when my braids start to look frizzy, I'll spray my spray my braids with water and then I'll just go over it with this. And once you dry it, it's gonna give your braids that shiny appearance that it used to have when you first got it. So definitely recommend this one. And also I'll leave all the products that I mentioned down below in the description so you can check them out for yourself. But before we go on to the next product, if you've been growing out your hair for a while, you need a little bit of extra help, I have a free weekly hair routine down below in the description. It goes over everything you should do to your hair from day one to day seven of managing your curls, and it's completely free. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can go down to the description, click that link, and get free instant access to that PDF onto the next product. My next favorite product is the Thermal Wonder from Caracare. This is a heat protectant. If you're doing protective styles on a monthly basis like I advise you guys to do and you should really listen to me right if you're going to be doing those styles that require you to use heat you want to use a heat protectant and a reliable one this one is my favorite one that I've used I like how it comes in this little bottle so you could kind of just like spray the section of hair that you're trying to actually detangle or trying to blow dry and then you could go in with your blow dryer with a diffuse attachment well not a diffuse attachment a comb attachment if you want to, but make sure that you still keep in the blow dryer on medium or low heat, never go to high heat. This one is very reliable because trust me, bro, once you get that heat damage, it is a pain to get rid of it. So you wanna be proactive, you wanna get ahead of that. If you're gonna be blow drying your hair, make sure to use a heat protectant and the Thermal Wonder 6-in-1 Thermal Protectant from Caracare is a good bet, it's a good thing for you to use. I really like it. On to the next product. I know you guys have been waiting for me to talk about leave-in conditioners. My favorite leave-in conditioner that I have used to this day is none other than the Moisture Milk from Camille Rose. Now you guys know I have 
high porosity hair, but that, I would also recommend this for low porosity hair because it is light in consistency, right? So you're likely not gonna experience a lot of product buildup with this because it's so light and so moisture heavy. But one of the other reasons is because this pairs very well with my favorite gel, my favorite styling product. So those two go hand in hand and give me the best curls that it gives me the best mix of definition and volume in a way that I'm able to preserve my curls for the rest of the week, okay? So this is my favorite leave-in conditioner. Like I said, all the products will be linked down below in the description. It's the Moisture Milk from Camille Rose. A lot of moisture in this one. Your hair's gonna be soft. You can probably detangle with it if you want to as well. And yeah, your hair's gonna be super soft, smell nice, and that's the perfect foundation for your next curly hair routine. On to the final two products. We're gonna go with an essential oil. You guys know I tell you there's scientific evidence to back up the fact that essential oils help with hair growth, especially if you massage them into your scalp for two to four minutes at a time. So right now, at, the, at this moment, my favorite oil to use is the Too Soothing Mint Serum, also from 4C only, but you could really use any oil that just has peppermint oil in it. That's my favorite one. But yeah, at the moment, this is my favorite to use. It leaves that nice soothing sensation on your scalp. And what I've also found is you it can double as a sealant, right? So there's two purposes for oils. It can either moisturize your scalp and help with hair growth, or you could use it as a sealant to trap the moisture that you have already put into your hair. It doubles for both. Some oils I found do not mix very well with other products. So one thing I found about this one is it's pretty reliable when it comes to sealing moisture without flaking. So those are my two criteria when it comes to oils. You could, there's really, it's not too, you know, too cut and dry when it comes to essential oils, sealing moisture in your scalp. But this one I found is very reliable. It's the mint soothing serum. So I would definitely recommend this or any version of peppermint oil th that you could use on your scalp. On to the final product, my favorite product. Now this wasn't ranked in a certain way where this is just my favorite products for each kind of category when it comes to using on my hair. So my favorite styling product, my favorite gel to use on my hair when it comes to my curly hair routines is, drum roll. I was doing too much, now my watch came off. Is the Curl Maker from Camille Rose. This is my baby. Camille Rose, if you are watching this, bro. Let's get the collab going. I don't know what you're waiting for. I've been sending you email after email, but you've been leaving me on red. The Curl Maker is my favorite because it has great hold, right? It's not too strong to where your curls are gonna come out really crunchy and they're gonna be hard to deal with and they just kinda look stiff. It's gonna give you good hold to where they stay in place. So you could go to sleep and your curls will still be there till at least day four, right? When it comes to wash and goes, I find that my wash and goes will last anywhere between four to seven days, right? By day four, it's still okay. Day five, it's like, okay, I should probably wash this. Day six, I definitely need to wash this. And day seven is like, why haven't you washed this yet? Now you're gonna have to deal with a bunch of tangles and stuff like that. But it's really good when it comes to hold. Your hair smells amazing. If you pair it with the leave-in conditioner, you're gonna have a bunch of moisture in your hair and you're gonna have a bunch of definition, which is a amazing combo right i also love this is one thing that i find that people don't talk about as much which is the actual bottle that it comes in i find that this is so convenient there are some gels and stuff that just come in the tub it just comes in the you know where you have to scoop it out i don't like those as much i find this is convenient because if i'm working with different sections of hair i gotta comb it i gotta spray it and stuff like that i just come to this and then just apply it to the section so this is my favorite gel it gives me the most consistent curls I found that when I use other gels and stuff, it just doesn't react that well with my hair or they just don't come close to Camille Rose. So those were my 10, the top 10 best hair products for growing out your hair. These are my personal favorites and I've tried a lot of products, bro, a lot. So you can definitely take my word for it that these products are gonna help you when it comes to your hair journey. One final note, even though these products are my favorite, not all of them go well together, right? So these are the individuals that stand out just to give you an idea of what you could try and find something that pairs well with it to integrate in your routine. But I've also recently started a an exclusive community dedicated towards you guys it's called project development the link for that will be in the description and basically it's a community where all of us can come together and just grow 
as a collective surrounded by like-minded guys when you're on social media it's very easy to get distracted this is supposed to be your one-stop place to improve in a lot of aspects in your life from hair skincare fitness i'm creating a, a course on fitness right now we're going to go over style we're going to go over grooming we're going to go over mindset so if you're interested in being a part of that community you could go down in the description click that link and become a part of it it's called project development you know we're all about building higher quality men on this channel and i want you guys to be a part of it but we're only accepting 25 people this week. After that, the price is going to go up. So you got to be fast. So make sure you go to the description, click that link, and become a part of that community. We'd love to see you there. We'd love to connect and just help each other grow in a lot of aspects of our lives. And if you like this video, you're definitely going to like this one. So I advise you to check it out. That's all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.